I'm Kimberly Ferguson, CEO and founder of Emerald Expectations Accounting. I'm so happy that you're here. The Emerald Corner is a place where life and business meet. So I want to share with you the process of running a business, but maintaining a life with the ones you so love. So today's video is about the costs of hiring an accountant. Okay. So first and foremost, we are going to be addressing this from the point of the small business owner. Okay. So I myself am a small business owner. But what exactly does that mean? What that means is a business that has fewer than 50 employees. So if you have fewer than 50 employees, listen up. <laughs> hey guys, future can really chime in here. Just to say that on top of the number of employees that you have, another thing that can make you a small business is the amount of revenue that you have. So if your revenue is under $5 million, then you are also considered a small business owner. So I myself am a small business owner. I have a business and it just happens to be in accounting, but I'm a lot like you. I have to worry about dealing with the back end. I have to worry about talking to clients and making sure clients are happy. And I have to worry about employees and making sure employees are happy and well compensated and all the stuff that we have to deal with in today's age, right? So the first thing that I want to address is what does it cost for accounting work? Now, obviously the answer is it depends. The accountant's favorite answer, it depends. <laughs> so what does it depend on? So it's going to depend on things like what kind of services you're interested in, what level of experience or education does the person that you're dealing with have? What is your annual revenue? and possibly the number of transactions that you have on a regular basis, monthly, weekly, etc. As a general rule, I would say that you could expect to pay anywhere from a three to 5% of your annual revenue. So let's say that you have $100,000 in annual revenue. So you'd be looking at spending $3,000 to $5,000 a year on your accounting services. Now, if we break that down by month, we would be looking at $250 to around $400 a month for your accounting services. Keep in mind, this is just for your basic compliance work. This does not include tax preparation, tax planning, and it certainly doesn't include any type of advisory or CFO type of services, right? This is just your basic compliance things that you are required by law to keep, okay? So the next question is, when am I ready to hire an accountant? I know this is kind of a tricky one <laughs> for a lot of people, but I mean, the basic answer is when can you afford it? So keeping in mind, what that three to five percent looks like for your small business can you afford to maintain that expense now i would add a caveat to that which is that if you have no idea what you're doing with your accounting then you're gonna need to hire sooner rather than later and it might have to be you know before you can actually afford it and unfortunately that's one of those things in business where you have to spend money to make money right it is required that you keep this information and make sure that you can prove and verify all of your expenses and the way that you report your tax returns. You have to be able to document that to show and verify that what you put on those forms is correct. So sometimes you have to hire before you're ready. But the other thing is, is once your business gets over, let's say $100,000, chances are you're going to be at the point where you're not going to be able to handle it on your own. So you're going to have to hire someone to help you with that just because of the fact that your time is limited, right? And so once you're making $100,000, you probably have enough on your plate already without handling your accounting, right? So those are kind of my measurements is one, can you afford it? Two, can you not afford it? But you don't know anything about what you're doing. <laughs> and three is, are you making $100,000 or more? So those are my three kind of quick judgments as to whether or not you should hire an accountant. But every situation is a little bit different. So keep that in mind as well. And the last question is, would it be better for me to just do it myself? And the answer is maybe. I know, an accountant's favorite answer. So if you can't afford it, then maybe. If you know what you're doing, then maybe. <laughs> and if you're making less than $100,000. So I know I can't afford it and making less than $100,000 might go together, but maybe not. So the biggest key with this is if you're going to do it yourself, I would recommend getting someone to teach you how to do it. And I know that that costs money and that's difficult for some people, especially when you're just starting. But if you take the time to invest in someone who can help you, whether that's a professional or a, some sort of a course that you can take, then at least you can feel 
you know, remotely confident that your stuff is being done correctly rather than saying I'm not spending money and also I'm doing a really terrible job and I know I'm messing this up and therefore it's going to cost me more money to fix it in the future, right? <laughs> so if you don't know how to do it, if you're not comfortable, if you're not confident and if you don't have enough money in your business, then I would recommend learning how to do it yourself and using a program or a professional to show you how to do it. Now, I know that you probably didn't go into business because you love doing accounting, right? You probably went into business, you know, because you like web design or you like virtual administration services or whatever your job is that you take care of, right? That is why you went into business, not to handle the accounting, but the accounting is a huge portion of the running a business and it's so important that you know how your business is doing and financially speaking so if i can help you with either one of those things either through our diy bookkeeping program if you don't feel like you make enough money to justify hiring an actual accountant then that is an option or we can of course help you with your accounting services from basic bookkeeping and compliance work all the way up to cfo advisory services so if that sounds like you, I'd love to help you. Our contact information is below, but otherwise, thank you so much for spending just a few minutes of your time with me today. I hope you have a fantastic day and I will see you in my next video.